Good afternoon. I'm so excited to see everybody here today and to be sharing with you information about how I invite and get celebrity guests on live streams. You haven't seen me doing them recently, um, but I have an approach that works really, really well um, for authors, for entrepreneurs, for anybody who really wants to create more authority and more interest and more excitement and more publicity and just more awareness around everything that you're doing. So thank you for joining me here today. Um, if you're watching me live, put hashtag live or live, put a comment in, let me know that you're watching, that you're um, paying attention. I appreciate it. And um, uh, I will be getting started in just a few minutes. I'm not going to go for too long this afternoon. I've got lots of prep to do um, for the Tuesday afternoon. Uh, Tuesday at 6 p.m. I'm going to do uh, a deep dive training on step-by-step -step how to create authority live streams where you have celebrity guests and um uh, celebrity guests and live audience watching with you as well as interviewing the guests with you and why that's important. So um, thank you. Hello, Sabrina. Nice to see you. Um, thank you, anyone else and everyone else who's watching. And um, if you're watching on the replay, let me know um, or live. I'm always happy to see you live as well. Um, what I want to share with you this afternoon, the most important outcome that we're going to talk about and the most, the reason why I want you to consider doing your live streams, doing your interviews, creating them in, in a completely different way, creating them, not just you speaking as an authority and trying to create your authority by, by sharing your expertise and your knowledge, but I want you to consider not only inviting celebrity guests, which everyone knows if you invite a big influencer and you get them onto your show, um, that that would, would help you, would be beneficial. Um, but the different element of it is inviting audience members in with you. And what I want to share with you today, the most important thing, that the reason why I suggest this change to you or this different approach to you um, is because we want, we want to put you in a position as the author, as the person who's trying to generate more authority for yourself and more awareness and exposure um, for your message, for your book, for your name and your services. We want to know that when Ever you reach out to someone, to an individual, you reach out to a media channel, you reach out to um, an influencer who's a potential guest on your show, or if you reach out to an organization, uh, excuse me, you reach out to an organization that you want to pitch for potential sponsorship or bulk buy opportunity with your, with your book, you want to know that when they go to Google to pre-qualify you and to see, should I even bother replying to her email or to his email? Um, what you want to know is that when they search Google for your name and for your keywords, your message, your book title, that they're going to see exactly what you want them to see, which is that you are a name that is well known, that you have a topic matter, a, a subject matter that you speak about, that you're known for speaking about, known for having opinions on. Um, and the way that you present that is by showing them all of the trust triggers. And I've spoken about trust triggers before. Um, they exist in your, in your funnel. They exist on all of your marketing opportunities, especially if you're leveraging them. Things like your bestseller title, things like saying I as seen on ABC, NBC, CBS and Fox, things like when people search for a famous book author or an influencer's name on Google and they see you 
interviewing them. That's really important that you know when you reach out to an organization who you want to have their support, you want to have them buying bulk or calling you and, and inviting you in for, for a paid speaking engagement, you want to know that they're going to see when you get hired for these types of events, you send out press releases. You interview influencers and you mention that I'm going to be speaking on stage here or I'm starting to work with this organization who is supporting me and getting my message out there. They want to know in advance what are they going to get from you if they move forward. If, if they move forward with a relationship with you, um, a business relationship. So um let's see what i wanted to share about th this type of celebrity live stream and and reminding you sabrina is joining me live on tuesday and if you want to get more information than i can share in just this this short live stream today join me for the deep dive mass uh deep dive training that i'll do in my paid members only mastermind group uh for book authors and entrepreneurs um it's about relaunching and refreshing your authority um and you can uh if, if you're interested in joining give me a comment authority at the end um you'll be joining myself and sabrina and other authors who are already in the mastermind community and I will be taking you step by step by step exactly how to create your celebrity live stream show, um, which is a brand for your business, which will bring awareness. And it gives you something really to talk about every day. It gives you a reason to reach out to influencers and a reason to reach out to organizations to let them know what you're doing in a way that has no ask on their part. You're, you're not asking them to do anything or to um, give you anything or to buy anything from you. But what you're, what you're trying to do is you're reaching out to them to let them know about something that you're pretty sure they're gonna wanna know about um, and that they'll be happy to hear about when you tell them. Um, what, what doing these kinds of celebrity shows does for you is it leverages the knowledge of the saying in business and in life, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Um, so it really takes doing live streams like, like I'm doing here today where it's just me talking to the audience. This is just me sharing my expertise. This is me sharing what I know, which isn't the most important thing. What is even more influential, what, what tells people they don't even have to watch the video. All that they have to do is see it on Google, come up with an image of you and an influencer and their name. What it does is it shows who you know, and it shows your, your influence, your authority, your capability to create and maintain relationships, which is what... People want, especially uh, with book authors, when you're talking about bulk buy, bulk buy opportunities or sponsorship opportunities with organizations, it is very much a relationship that you're entering with the organization. Um, they may buy thousands of copies of your book, but that's not the end of the transaction. Then there are speaking engagements and opportunities where you show up and ensure that all of the books get taken home, um, all of them sold or given away. And, and you are, you are what people want. They want a relationship with you more than they want your book. When you're when you're thinking about how do I find these bulk opportunities and sponsor organizations, they are the organizations that share your message. So when you think about what is the important thing in my book, in my message, in my work that I'm trying to change in the world. Right? You're, you're trying to create a revolution and you're trying to bring people 
to, to, to surround the wagons, <laughs> to circle the wagons around you and support you and, and, and protect you and push you forward in areas where you don't have connections, where you don't have relationships. Um, and the same, when they sponsor you, when they buy thousands of copies of your book, they want to know that you are going to show up at their events to support them back, to show that that relationship matters. Um, and it's important that you do that. It's important that you understand that also because other organizations who may want to sponsor you, who may want to have bulk buys or have you speak at their opportunities are looking at how you put it out there to the world, your work with other organizations, right? So um, having this show gives you gives you sponsor organizations right from the very beginning, right? Because not all sponsorships need to have money behind them. In fact, many sponsorships have no money behind them. And some of the best and strongest sponsorship opportunities are not financial. Now, I lost a couple of viewers when I said that. It's really funny. <laughs> but I'm sure the viewers will come back because the fact of the matter is what we're talking about is establishing your authority so that those those big money, those big sponsorship bulk buy opportunities um, become a realistic possibility for you. If you haven't had them yet, if you haven't started to put yourself out there and show how who are the people that you know and how you dis establish relationships that that when the when the sponsor organization or the media channel or whoever it is that you want to have them have a closer relationship to you you want them to know who you are what you're working on and you want them to feel like hmm the next time i see an opportunity i'm going to reach out to them and ask them if I can, if I can help them, if they'd be interested in participating in this opportunity. And, and what we're doing as book authors is we're trying to make our work easier. We're trying to make it easier to put everything out there. So here's the, here's the really important thing I want you to keep in mind about doing celebrity live streams where, about doing live streams or any sort of content. You can create this in print as well, but I prefer creating it as video because then you have not only video, which is the strongest type of media that you can create, especially for SEO um, value. Uh, you also get the audio, which you can produce and release as a podcast or as an audio book. Um, you could release chapters of your interviews as collected as an audiobook. Um, and you could also from the video interview, um, whether it's live stream or just recorded, you can then also create a whole bunch forever more. You have content that inspires columns and articles for not only for your own media channels, for your own blog, for your own Facebook and LinkedIn and wherever else you post, but also for mass media audiences where they have existing audiences and the editors are constantly looking for new content, new categories. So what I want you to think about is when I'm reaching out to a celebrity influencer, and this could be someone who's a big name and an organization that you'd like to have sponsor you. This could be, um, the big famous author in your category, um, or um, uh, did I say media channel, a media channel, journalist, editor, someone that you want to have, have this, this positive viewpoint of you. Um, when you're reaching out to the celebrity, what I want you to think about is, what am I providing to them that's different? in this interview opportunity. Um, and what I have realized, the way that I did it and what made, what, what I think was the biggest thing that made my interview show different and stand out and the reason why I was able to get celebrity authors saying, yes, I would love to be on your show and, and even multiple times um, having them come on my show 
was that I wasn't just interviewing them to use them for their influence. I was giving them a completely different interview experience than they had in most other places. So most other media channels want all the authority of having the celebrity beside them at their location, on their channel. Aren't we great? Because we got this celebrity, we're influential and, and authoritative, which, which is great if you're a big name, if you're established. But when you're starting out, you're not established. You're not a big name. How can you reach out to a celebrity and, and, and give them what they want, what, what makes them select and say yes to an interview opportunity because they have them all the time. They're being asked to show up everywhere for free and not getting paid for it. Um, so you have to pre present to them an opportunity that is different from their everyday interviews. Um, when, when they get interviewed on NPR or when they get interviewed on Good Morning America, it's very, very different than when they come and get interviewed with you. And so what I did, the way that I thought about it and approached it was I created my interview show, my live stream show um, with a particular feeling behind it. And I wanted it to feel for my celebrity guest. I wanted it to feel like they were the big name celebrity out of just a handful of guests who were coming to my home for a dinner party. And it wasn't, they weren't just coming to my home for me to interview them and pick their brain and get value from them and, and me not pay them. They're coming to my home for a dinner party where they get to have conversations with people in a very, very different way, where they get to actually speak directly with their fans and their readers, which is something that that happens. I, I guess it happens more now, especially in 2020. Um, I've seen so many of the, you know, the big TV shows now, all of their audiences are not live in studio. Now the audiences are, are call in and phone in. Um, so, so it does happen more, but it's still you are hand selecting each guest that gets to talk to this celebrity. And that puts you in an automatically in an affluent, uh, not affluent, authoritative position, an influential position, um, because for the celebrity guest, you're giving them exposure to a new audience and creation of content, of their content, of their message, of what's important to them. They're still talking about what's important to them, but it's a different conversation. So now they're creating new content. Here's this big celebrity influencer on your channel creating new content. And when it's new content, that's what they really, really, really want to put out as big and as wide as possible to their existing audiences, right? Because they have the same old content showing up on every major media channel, ask them all the same questions, wants to talk about all the same things. They get very bored of it. But when you invite them onto your show, you're not talking about the same things every mass media channel is talking about. You're talking about what is important to you that they share a passion with that is also important to them, right? So you're giving them a way to create brand new content, which is what they're always trying to do, whether they're a media channel influencer, uh, a corporation um, organization, or an individual author. We're always trying to create more content that has high value, right? So when you give the celebrity an opportunity to create different content, and then you as, as the producer of the show, you're going out and promoting the show, promoting the content to new audiences and new media channels, um, you're giving so much value. You're giving so much different 
unusual kind of value that the author, the celebrity, the influencer doesn't get in other places. Um, that is uncommon that they go, oh, yes, yes, I want to be on Debbie's show or on Sabrina's show or everyone else who's watching. When they say, yes, I want to be on your show, it's because it's beneficial to them. It's because it's different to them. It's because they're not going to get what they get from you anywhere else. And so for me, I my influence, <laughs> I'll admit this to you, uh, was um, the movie Notting Hill. In the movie Notting Hill, there is a scene where Julia Roberts, um, she plays her, her character's name is Anna Scott. Um, she's an American celebrity in London. Hugh Grant plays her love interest or the guy who has a crush on her, on this American celebrity in London. Um, and he, you know, in his Hugh Grant way, <laughs> invites her to, in, in, invites her out on a date um, without realizing that it is the same evening as his baby sister's birthday party. And so he invites this celebrity over to his sister's, his, his friend's house um, for a dinner party, which is to celebrate his baby sister's birthday. Um, and the experience for her, she went as a celebrity because she went knowing that she wasn't going to have the same experience as she would go anywhere else. She would go anywhere else and she would have to perform. She would have to be the influencer. She would have to be the authority. She would have to really perform. And what I wanted was a much more relaxed conversation. I wanted to be producing a conversation live stream show that even people who weren't there almost like a fly on a wall at a dinner party at my home. That was what I wanted my show to be like. And, and I selected particular authors and particular individuals, particular audience members who wanted, who said, oh my God, I can't believe you've got this guest coming on your show. Can I please, 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 please be on the panel to talk to them myself? Rather than having you ask them questions and you take all of the, the face time with this author, I would love to be on the show and to have the opportunity to, to talk to them myself, to get their guidance on my book um, and, and to make a connection, to have, the, to have me, myself, I, you know, I, I'm a reader I admire this author. I would love the opportunity to meet them in person and to share with them how important their book is to me. And, and for the authors, that's really important as well. Um, and then the other thing to consider is that when you approach media channels or journalists and say, listen, I've seen you've been writing, you've been creating content around this subject matter. I have a regular conversation that happens with influencers. I'd love to invite you to join the panel. Um, here are the celebrity guests that I have coming up. Uh, if you haven't met any of them yet, this would be a great opportunity for you to be introduced to them and, and to join me on my show. And when you have a journalist or a media channel joining you on your show, very good likelihood is they're going to, in reciprocity, promote your show and your content that you create in their media channel or at least on their on their social profiles. And and you can't always expect, you know, of course, you can't always expect to have um, the biggest names per give you their whole audience right from the very beginning. It's something that you work towards, um, but it can happen and it can happen really, really fast. If you think about what is the content that I'm producing and how will this be of, of interest, of value to every single person who, who touches it, who sees it. You want your audience to get value from it every single time. You want the influencer, celebrity guests to be like, that was great. I never have interviews like that. Yes, I'd love to come back anytime. And you want the journalists and media guests who join you um, to, to want to come back multiple times because they're meeting influencers through you 
And you're giving them value in that way. You're giving them great content for their media channel in the future. I've had um, numerous um, celebrity authors who were guests on my show um, be introduced to media channel and, and journalist um, who were on my show. And then in the following months and years, they established their own relationship and are getting a ton of brand new exposure for, for the author in a big media channel because the two connected. And when you're, when you can be the person that's making those introductions for others, that's a strong benefit. That's a position of authority. That's, that's where you're getting to the point where people are thinking, hmm, I wonder what Debbie's next show is going to be. I wonder when her next guest is going to be. I haven't seen something coming up. I want to see something new. Um, you get uh, authors, anyone, anyone, whether it's an author or an organization, anyone who's doing anything new, you get them thinking, hmm, I want to have them I, I want to get the opinion of Debbie or of Sabrina and see what they think about this. I just want to reach out to them and get their feedback on what I'm doing. And maybe when, when I get their feedback, if they really like what I'm doing, they'll offer me a spot on the show. And that's how you get people coming to you and saying, hey, I would love to be interviewed on your show is, is what I'm doing a fit. Is it good enough for you? Um, and that's that's your position of influence. Now, on Tuesday in the deep dive training, I am going to go through exactly step by step how to create your show proposal. And your show proposal is very similar to a book proposal. It is like a business plan that you're putting out in advance so that you can send it, you can share key information, you, you can send it as a whole or you can share key information with people who you want to have them come onto your show. If you have nothing to nothing written down to show them, they're going to think you're never going to produce the show. If you're serious about producing the show and you are serious about not wasting other people's time, you want to have a book, you want to have a show proposal document um, that, that even if you never send it out to anybody else um, or sponsor opportunities or bulk buy or anything like that, even if you never really send it out as a whole, it will work for you and give you a marketing plan to follow. It gives you a business plan to follow. It gives you an, a goal in the end of why am I doing this today with no audience and no clue what I'm doing when you know why? You know why because you know the exact outcome that you're trying to create. You know the list of influencers and media channels and sponsor organizations that you want to have searching for you on Google because you've reached out to them directly with a proposal and you want to know that when you reach out to them in a few months down the road or next week or whenever you're going to that they're going to google you and they're going to see you with authority with influencers creating content creating conversations making people think um creating content for existing media channels doing the things that they want to see you doing in order for them to reach out to you. So I will take you step by step. I will give you a template document for creating your show proposal. Makes it super easy for you to think about hmm, how often do I want to do my show? What type of celebrity guest do I want to have on my show? Who are the audience members that I would like to have interviewing? How often, how frequent, what is my future schedule for producing so that you can send that list out to potential celebrity guests. Their booking people will want to know what is your schedule for production. Um, even You can even outline potential um, sponsorship packages right from the very beginning so that you have the potential of getting sponsors, production sponsors, to pay you to create your live streams. 
and to have a much larger, much more specific audience. Um, yes, sponsors will want to know how much audience your show has. Um, but I have a secret that completely allows you to get around this question. Um, and it comes from my, my history as a media buyer. So I will be sharing that in the live stream in the deep dive on Tuesday. Um, give me a comment wherever you're watching this video, whether you're watching live uh, today, right now, or you're watching the replay in the next couple of days. If you do want to join the deep dive on Tuesday, it's at 6 p.m. Eastern time. I'm running them almost pretty much every week within the mastermind community. And um, joining the mastermind community, I have just a few spots left for 2020 uh, to join me for the entire year next year. And when you join this week, the few spots that I have left, they come with a free press release credit. Um, if you're not, if you're watching this on my profile and you're not a member of my free group yet, it is called um, book publishing, sales and promotion secrets for authors and entrepreneurs. And I want to encourage you to go, if you're watching on my page or on my profile, thank you so much. Um, I love being your friend. I love having you follow me if you're, if you're, you know, following my page or if you've liked my page. Um, but I, I have really amazing special stuff going on in the free group. Um, it is completely unique to what I'm posting on my profile and what goes on on my page. Of course, not much goes on on the page. Um, but in the free group, we've got some really valuable bonuses, um, including my book launch publicity playbook, which is a Trello board that you can move things around and customize. And you can even have me customize um, your book launch publicity playbook so that it is customized for your next six months, your next year, um, and the books that you have coming up. And we also have in the free group, one of the new things that I've started working on with members of the group is a book planning um, uh, budget calculator. So it is a spreadsheet. It's not very pretty. It doesn't look like the Trello board is really attractive and compelling to look at and play around with. Um, but if you're a spreadsheet kind of person, if you're a budget and numbers kind of person like I am, you want to be able to know ahead of time what are all the potential costs that I could face in producing, publishing, and promoting my book. What are all these potential costs? Um, and the, the, the price range that they were available for. And I'm even thinking about adding in with the people that I'm working on this spreadsheet with, adding in um, resources and recommended resources at various price and timing um, windows. So it, the group is, is really strong. It's getting stronger every week. Um, more and more people are joining every week and there's more value there. So um, I do like to do these lives, um, you know, and in, in on a number of pages so that I have a bigger audience. Um, but I do want to encourage you, don't think that you're getting all my greatest value if you're just watching on my page or on my profile. You do want to go join the group um, and there you're going to get the best offers, the best information um, that I'm giving away for free to book authors and entrepreneurs so that you can learn how to do, how, how to have more authority. Um, and and, and it, not, not learning how to have more authority, just taking action to have more authority. So I want to thank you all for watching me today, for joining me. Um, I'll see you throughout the week. I will be back next week. Um, next week's topic on the live stream next Saturday, um, is <laughs> completely forgot to check. Um, let me just check my screen before I let you go. I'm so excited about all of this. Oh yes. <laughs> so Saturday, December 26th, 
on Boxing Day. I will be going live, same time, 1.15 p.m. Eastern time. And the subject next week is three ways to immediately improve the results of your book website. So this is um, really just like making sure that all of the traffic that goes to your book website really truly benefits you, that you get as much information about people as you possibly can so that even if they don't opt into your list or even if they don't buy from you, um, even if they completely just leave your website, that you still get value out of the effort that you took to drive them over to your website. Um, so I want to encourage you to join me next week, Saturday here again. I'll be live for free. And if you're interested on in learning more, if you want to go through the deep dive of how to create your own show with celebrity guests and um, media channels and readers, clients, authors, uh, or, um, uh, fans joining you on your show, um, we'll be going through that training on Tuesday. So you have the opportunity to join me. The rate is um, still discounted through the end of this year. Um, but the press release credit uh, is limited to just a few more people. There was 10 to start with and spots have been going. So um, if you're interested, let me know and I will see you soon. Bye, everybody.